Hey and welcome back. I'm super excited. V-Ray 3.4 is out. This is the beta uh, version, but still super super excited for it. So everything is changed. They change everything. The interface, everything is changed. So let's take a look. What are the new features? And sorry. And what what's new? Okay, so we're going to start from the V-Ray rendering and options. So the first the first icon will give us the V-Ray editor and basically here you can see all the material list and we got here quick settings basically they're trying to do it very simple what you do you can if you go to the quick setting on any of those you can easily add reflection refraction and a bunch of more stuff here and you can change here very quickly to make it plastic paint glass liquid all of those car paint and all of those emissive if you want to make it a light and here you have uh, all kind of options quick options and if you want to go more advanced so you have here this small arrow you click on this small arrow and here you get all the all the old um, options and much more here you can have all kind of very complex materials and you can add layers the one thing I like about it and <clears throat> This is the um, uh, the material uh, icon. So let's say you want to add a bitmap, you want to add a picture. So here, this is how you do it. Yeah, um, I'll go over it again. You click on this icon, and then you get this uh, no um, material here. And here you get all those. Uh, you have here plenty of um, materials and uh, maps. So we want to add a bitmap. So let's say we want to add this grass texture, whatever you know. And now you, you you click back and you have this grass. What I like about it, and this I was waiting for it for a long time, is if you want to duplicate this, you can right click it, copy it, cut it, or clear it. And this is very, very helpful and this can make the, the process much easier. So for example, if I want to make it to drag it to the reflection, I just can drag it here and can duplicate it and put it on the bump and this this can make the process very very fast the, the second uh, icon this is the light so basically what they did they 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 have a section now that you can have all your lights and your model here set up so what let's say you have hundreds of spotlights or whatever you know omni lights or whatever to and here you can control all the light and have them all set it up so uh, if you have it like this so what you need to do is click this small arrow and this will bring all the options the next is the object so basically some of the stuff are object let's say you uh, have some proxy or you have uh, fur we'll talk about it in a bit and you have all kind of stuff so here you can control your uh, objects um, the next is the <coughs> And sorry the settings so here is the regular settings so here you can make the image more quality or less quality here you can choose the um, mode that you wanna you wanna have a RT mode uh, render you CPU uh, CUDA and more of that and here you can have uh, rendering quality and uh, just the lights and uh, resolution you can choose any resolution from here and here you can uh, say, uh, save save uh, output uh, channel and here you have uh, much more uh, like the old version with all the specify um, um, details that you can go into and in deeper depth so this is for the changes they they did in the material now uh, this is the render the new rendering button and just uh, change they just changed that the uh, the teapot uh, um, icon batch rendering is this icon basically what this is says is if you have a bunch of uh, scenes and on some of them you have some stuff hidden and some of them you have them um, uh, um, or you have some changes uh, between those so once you you click uh, batch rendering a uh, render everything um, th all the scenes one after another uh, this is the 6.1, uh, six, uh, six, six, six pair one, 
and this is a rendering that uh, I'll show you how it looks. This is a rendering that shows uh, it's for V-Ray and for 3D software. To um, you can uh, use this for uh, V-Ray glasses and uh, uh, stuff like that, and 3D programs. It's like a panoramic. You can uh, you can you can make a, a virtual tour with this and all sort of stuff like that. Um, this is the rendering buffer if you want to bring it back uh, you know from and this is the camera target point um, so, okay so now for the V-Ray object so this is the plane uh, V-Ray uh, plane if you are uh, not familiar familiar with this what this will do I'll ping, put a, a plane all over your uh, all over to your horizon or put the like a ground so if I render this now I'll see Sorry, if I render this now, I'll see like a plane and you can add a material on this and this is basically, uh, and this is not new, uh, but if you have no, don't know this, this is um, make, make import proxy and make proxy. So let's say you want to select something and here you can make proxy. So those two new features are uh, the new features and let's take a look at them. Uh, they work on, uh, they work on, uh, on groups uh, and components so let's say we have this make group and we want to make it fur so once we click this we get this um, icon and texture that makes it fur and now if you render we will have a uh, fur objects right here to control the fur um, and here's the buffer I just uh, here one second sorry about that here you can see how nice the fur comes out and you can make anything out of it hair anything and to control the fur we co go here and here you have the fur and here you have all the specify and all the details for the fur and you can go one by one and change uh, the length the width the scale every every small thing about that uh, fur and uh, to get um, uh, the result that you want so here is the furry object okay the next after that this is the clipping so basically uh, let's say we have um, uh, like an apartment yeah and we have uh, uh, just here let's we have a wall and we we, we want to uh, make like uh, you know, make group and we want to make a section just the section will be uh, like some something like this so here we have two objects and make group and both of them are group so let's say I put it here and I click on the clip um, cli uh, clip mask once we have this icon so now if I'm going to render um, I'm going to have a clip mask on the render Okay, so that's this is the V-Ray object uh, toolbar. So for the lighting, what's new? Basically, what's new for the lighting is those two objects. Those two. Um, so we have here the rectangular light and the uh, Omni light and the spotlight, iOS light, dim light, and uh, all the others. The what's new is this object. Basically, this will make any object that you have in the scene that's a group as a light source so when you have it selected the group you click this and now you have it you have the symbol and this means that this is a light source and another cool feature here is uh, let's say we have um, uh, uh, um, a light here and we want to edit the intensity so this uh, symbol the last symbol here once you hover on top of this light source it says intensity 30 you click and drag to the up you can put the intensity up if you want to click and drag to the down or put the intensity down so this is a very quick uh, introduction quick introduction to uh, the new V-Ray for SketchUp 3.4 thank you for watching guys like and subscribe we'll make more videos on the new V-Ray and thanks again bye